Good afternoon. Welcome and thank you all for attending the UNC Board of Governors uh, public comment session. Thank you all again <coughs> for attending and let's hear from our first registered speaker, <coughs> Michelle Brown. <coughs> My name is Michelle Brown, and I am a senior at the University of North Carolina this year, and I'd like to address the new regulations regarding free speech at UNC. So these regulations were allegedly put forth in order to protect free speech, uh, specifically to protect speakers from disruption. However, these regulations specifically target peaceful methods of student protests that have gone on historically at UNC for 100 years including when UNC statute of uh, and so we'd like to ask that the board consider what these regulations mean. My experience as a silent Sam protester has shown over and over again that student protesters are peaceful in their desire to continue these conversations around silent Sam, yet they face the threat of expulsion for ironically exercising our right to free speech, and that's unacceptable. Um, the, there have been several instances instead of violence that are initiated by non-students and Carolina fans. And this can be seen on game days during the football games when student protesters are out by the statue and fans are passing, threatening and racially harassing student protesters. Supporters of Silent Sam claim that the monument honors students who fought on behalf of the Confederacy to defend an honorable cause. And it is true that they were fighting for what they believe in. But their beliefs meant that they believed that black people were inferior to white people. And that's not an honorable cause that UNC should honor with the statue at the front of our university. That should be racially inclusive. They also argue that we are attempting to erase history by starting these conversations when, in fact, we have openly shared widely PDFs and printouts of 10 historical facts written by a UNC historian in order to initiate and continue these conversations around the true and violent racial history of what silent Sam actually means. So we're here today because we'd like to ask you to consider Jefferson Davison's words, who was the president of the Confederacy who openly acknowledged that their fight was in defense of the quote, rights of property and Negro slaves. So it is undeniable that the Confederate message was to maintain the Anglo-Saxon race as Julian Carr stated when he erected that statue. So not only does the statue not belong on our campus, but it creates a racially hostile environment. So we're here today to ask that the Board of Governors come to the statue and witness for yourselves the racially hostile environment that's created by the statue. And you can come the next game, November 18th, to do and see a home football game and see how student protesters interact with our community members because the community does want the statue down. And keeping it up does not represent the community, it does not represent Chapel Hill's beliefs, and it doesn't really represent the beliefs of Chancellor Fulton, who specifically stated that violence, racism, and hatred does not belong in our community. 